Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Wasted Traditions. I'm Tiffany. Here we explore the wisdom of the tarot. I read intuitively, offering general insights and guidance, encouraging you to take what resonates with you and to leave the rest. But before we get started, I want to go ahead and bless my decks of cards. Divine Spirit, bless these cards with your wisdom and light as I shuffle and draw. May your divine presence guide my readings and illuminate the paths of those seeking answers. So shall it be. Okay, good people. So Sagittarius, what's going on? How are you this week? Let me know. Drop in the comments. Were you able to overcome self-doubt? That was your reading last week. If you didn't, see your reading for last week i will definitely link it in the cards as well as in the description below were you able to start working on overcoming self-doubt because you know it's not an overnight process you didn't get that way overnight and you're not going to fix it overnight it's a process it's a journey but you sagittarius are capable so this is your reading for the week of march 3rd through march 9th let's find out what spirit has for you and what spirit needs you to know do tell begin Sagittarius fall into my arms surrender holding the opposites extremes of life all right balancing something surrendering surrender both things can be true right there are, we, we go through extremes of life and sometimes we can go through those extremes of life all at the same time, Sagittarius. So fall into the arms of the divine and let divine spirit, let the universe embrace you and hold you during these times. All right, let's get some clarifiers. Spirit. Let's clarify this for Sagittarius. Surrender. Holding the opposites. Extremes of life. Have you been, have you had extreme, okay, okay. Extreme emotions, extreme experiences, Sagittarius. I mean, even overcoming self-doubt is an extreme thing to do, right? So, Knight of Pentacles popped out for you. I will get into this. This is your shadow card on the bottom of the deck pointing to hopes or fears, pros or cons, positive or negative. We will get into this shortly. Okay. So, the Knight of Pentacles for Sagittarius comes up with fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life. Hmm. Okay, well, we know the Nine of Pentacles absolutely signifies patience for one, okay? I'm also getting being effective in being able to balance what it is you're you're feeling these extremes you're feeling effectively managing your emotions and your thoughts just being patient with yourself in the process just like i just like i shared with you last week you know overcoming self-doubt and just telling you today that it didn't happen to you overnight you're not going to undo it overnight so be patient because you're going from one extreme to another from um, uh, from enormous self-doubt 
and you're you're journeying through that to the other side of it with enormous self-esteem and self-love and belief in yourself. So be patient with yourself in these extremes and these opposites that you're feeling. OK, but it, it absolutely take responsibility for your journey. Take accountability for your healing, Sagittarius. OK. Let's get some clarifiers for Sagittarius spirit. Putting in the hard work to level up your life, Sagittarius, is no small feat. So you absolutely must have patience with yourself. It's not a sprint. This is a marathon and the Knight of Pentacles is patience. It takes patience and timing, pace and cadence to run a marathon, right? So you're putting in the hard work. Be responsible for the hard work that you put in to get yourself to next level living, right? Okay, Spirit, clarify this for Sagittarius. Okay. Mm -hmm. This one, the hermit. All right. So what it is I'm feeling for this when the hermit pops up for you, Sagittarius, you're being asked to go into solitude right now in order to work on yourself because it is going to take hard work. You do not need the outside influences. You do not need anyone playing on your thoughts or your emotions at this time because this is such hard work it requires you to go within to um have inner wisdom learn to understand and hear your inner wisdom your intuition your higher self you're searching you're searching for guidance you're searching for your inner truth because that self-doubt that you begin to dismantle, you're going to find your way through by searching for inner truth, finding your own voice to overcome that self-doubt. So be patient with yourself, but also know it's going to take some isolation on your part, Sagittarius, and not have just anyone in your ear. So move in silence on this. Do not share what it is you're working on for your next level living. Keep this to yourself. Move in silence is what I'm getting. Go within. Seek wisdom from your higher power, whatever that may be for you. Seek wisdom from your own intuition and your own highest self. Do not share this with external forces or other people because we don't need their opinion uh shaping the work that you're doing for yourself okay uh the empress come on come on spirit thank you Ooh, joy okay creativity okay this again is your inner voice. The hermit is telling you to go within and she, she male or female energy, the empress is saying inner voice, right? Learning to nurture yourself. Um, learning to love the beauty of your life as it is currently, okay? Loving the beauty of your life as it is currently. Your life is not perfect and no one's is and that's okay. But when you start start to learn the beauty of the life you have right now, that helps you to move through this journey. Okay, Sagittarius, you get to move through this journey with an expression of joy, an expression of of creativity you might become more creative just like all of a sudden i feel like you definitely are a creative person sagittarius but that creativity starts to pop for you the empress is telling you absolutely nurture that creativity nurture the beauty of your life okay what do we have next for you sagittarius you got the love Hadrian energy, codependency, and boundaries. Here we are again with the boundaries. 
setting those boundaries to overcome self-doubt. You had to create the boundaries for yourself. There is a codependency there. And it, we're, we're getting, you're working toward what I'm, what I'm hearing, interdependent. That's what I'm hearing spirit tell me. Interdependency, where you can be in relationship with others, no matter what type of relationship that is, a uh, familial, romantic, or work re relationships, right? Codependency can stunt our growth. But interdependency says we are still individuals and we depend on each other for certain aspects of our lives, right? But we will not be broken if something was to happen to that relationship. That's what happens with codependency. If something terrible happens to the relationship and that relationship was to dissolve for whatever reason, those codependent relationships will will truly break us and in, and then it's harder to climb back out of that hole eight of swords okay okay spirit so this this is self-imposed imprisonment in your codependent relationship that's what i'm getting Self-victimization, Sagittarius. I don't like what this is giving me, but I'm going to say it. It's, it's like you've been a victim for far too long. You actually believe that is your character, and it's not true. It's not true. You have put yourself into that imprisonment, into that codependent situation um, allowing it to happen because boundaries weren't there and you you doubted yourself for so long so someone else was telling you how to live and be and move in the world I need clarification on this spirit justice but you you will have justice Sagittarius you will have justice justice for yourself is coming from yourself Sagittarius justice for yourself is coming from yourself you you are going to be this whole process is going to enlighten you and lively up your world you are going to be inspired by the work that you are doing for yourself the hard work the hard work the patient process you are going to inspire yourself with the hard work that you're doing with that's what this justice card is pointing to okay Sagittarius you understand cause and effect a little bit better as you move through this process you will come to a place of clarity and you will come to know what your truth absolutely is you are not a victim and you're the one that gets to release yourself from this imprisonment. When you think about justice getting getting exonerated, you are going to exonerate yourself from the imprisonment of the lies that you have been told and the lies that you believe. And the codependency is will be broken. You will be interdependent in your relationships moving forward, which is a much healthier way to do relation. And then the moon. Things have been hidden from you. Things have been hidden from you, right? You were blind to things even right in front of you, Sagittarius. It's like you were you were moving through life unconsciously, like just going through the motions because this is what society says you should be doing. You, you couldn't see your own way forward, right? Because of codependency, because someone else was telling you this is what's going to happen. This is how it's going to be. This is what we're going to do. And yet this stops. This stops now. With the moon, you have to trust your intuition to in order to exonerate yourself from the situations that have held you back 
from the self-doubt that has held you back. Sagittarius. I feel like I need one more for this. Mm. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. The four of wands. When you exonerate yourself, Sagittarius, there is celebration. Your life will be illuminated. You will inspire others with the work you have done. They're going to say, you look different. What have you been doing? And they, were, they will want to know, what is your secret sauce, right? This points to, yes, this points to celebration, right? This points to coming home to yourself, Sagittarius. You've been away from home. You've been away from self for far too long. It's time to come home. One more. One more card to go. Well, one more Oracle card to go. Star bathing, light body, crystal grid, transmission, activation. It's time to activate. It's time to activate. It's time to get yourself grounded. Get yourself settled. This journey is happening. You are ready. Activate what you know is true for you. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in yourself, Sagittarius. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Look at this. This... This is not happenstance. This is divine inspiration that's happening right in front of us. So if you look at this star bathing card, you have you, the player, the character, lying down beneath the stars, getting activated. Your light body is waking up. And then we have the death card, death and rebirth. Normally, we are... <laughs> in a lying position when it's when it's our time well I'm, what I'm getting from this what spirit is sharing with me all of the the angst all of the doubt it's time for that to end that cycle of your life is dying and you are having a rebirth it is your rebirth you are activating your new life Sagittarius this is beautiful this is divine Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm also getting there's a metamorphosis your change the metamorphosis you're becoming you are becoming you are becoming I'm getting metamorphosis for you Sagittarius and next we have for a clarifier we have a five of cups right change okay Maybe even grieving over what you feel like you're losing and not realizing there's something for you to gain because this no longer serves you, Sagittarius. It no longer serves you, yet you're grieving what doesn't serve you because it feels comfortable. And in order to have a transformation, in order to have a rebirth, we have to go through growth. Growth. There's a growth process that has to happen. So you're grieving what was comfortable and we have to get out of our comfort zone, Sagittarius. I need you to turn around and see what is in front of you. See what is available to you. Okay? Because you haven't lost everything. What doesn't serve you has fallen away. But what is necessary for your process, for your growth, is right here. Just turn around. Just open your eyes and look for it. Right? It, it, it feels disappointing, perhaps. But there's no reason to stay in disappointment. I understand grief. Grieve because you must. And then be done with the grief. Give yourself a time frame. Do not wallow in the grief. Okay, we go through the valley sometimes, but do not pitch your tent in the valley. Get up and get moving to see what is available to you, Sagittarius. There is, again, five of wands, challenge, understanding challenge. It would feel like you are in conflict with yourself, maybe even others. But this challenge, again, is for your growth. It's for your betterment. 
it's for you to elevate to the next level, Sagittarius, okay? And let's go ahead and take a look at that um, shadow card that was on the bottom before we close out your reading. The sun card. I forgot what it was, but all things point to the best thing ever. The best thing ever for you, Sagittarius. You've got the sun card. This is your dream. This is your hope, right? This is amazing. The, what the process we just walked through, Spirit is telling you, it's all worth it. Look at the joy. Look at your joy. Look at your renewed strength. Look at your transformation. Spirit is saying it's all for your good. It's all for your good, Sagittarius. It's time. It's time to celebrate. Your time to celebrate is upon you. And we know the sun brings energy. The sun brings life. You, your life is elevating. Your life is elevating, Sagittarius. I am super excited for you. All right, Sagittarius. Thank you for staying until the end of the video. I hope this has resonated with you in some form or fashion to help you on your journey. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos I have for you. I will see you soon. Until then, bye-bye.